You know, I don't think that there are enough Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes palette review videos out there, so I thought I'd make one too. I'm really excited about this one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you guys can tell by my title, is the review of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brushes collab palette and also a quick little Morphe haul. I know that I'm probably extremely late to the game with uploading this video. I literally just got my palette yesterday, so I'm doing this video as soon as I got my palette. I was not able to get my palette when they had done the first initial launch of the palette. By the time I had got home and went in to put in the information, the palette had sold out and then I had to wait till the second restock. So I was able to get my palette on the second restock, but because I live in Canada and I did not want to pay for shipping, I had to send it to my cousin's house in the States and then my cousin gave it to my mom and my mom brought it home for me when she had just gone to the States to visit. So I finally got the palette two days ago and I was waiting literally like waiting like a child on christmas for my mother to come home i said you have to call me the moment you get home because i need to come over and i need to pick up this palette when i saw the palette online on the morphe brushes website i honestly did not think that i was going to like the palette i knew i was going to buy the palette because i love jacqueline hill and i wanted to support her so i knew that Either way, I was going to buy the palette, especially because she was so hands-on in creating this palette with the formulation of the eyeshadow pigments and apparently, like, you know, just her being really picky and sending them back and forth and making sure that each eyeshadow color was the blendability or the way that she wanted. So obviously, for someone who loves makeup, you want to know what she created and, you know, how everything turned out. So I was 100% always going to buy the palette, but when I went on the website and I saw the colors on the picture, it just... It didn't seem like this was a palette I was going to like. It seemed like the colors were too, what's the word, just too light for my skin tone and just wouldn't look good on me. So I really did not have high expectations in terms of color payoff for using the palette. I never thought that the actual eyeshadows would be bad, but I thought that the colors would just not look good on my skin tone. Especially for me, being someone who is of a darker skin tone than Jaclyn Hill, when I saw the picture and I saw the colors on the palette, I just thought, ooh, I don't think it's gonna look good on me. And that's something that I guess I always wonder whenever I buy a product and I see someone who is maybe Caucasian or Asian or someone who's just even darker than me who's not my own skin tone, it's very hard to see or kind of gauge where the colors are going to be on my skin tone and I think that's why I'm always so curious to try out the products for myself and give a review for any of you who are around my skin tone. So let's start off with just the basics of the palette. The palette has 35 eyeshadows and it costs $38 and the only places that you can get the palette is on the Morphe Brushes website or the Morphe Brushes store. I would not recommend ordering it from anywhere else. I know I've seen on Twitter a lot of people getting scammed or I don't know, people are reselling their palettes for like a lot more and you don't need to do that because you can just go to the Morphe Brushes website or to the store and get it yourself. Basically when it launched it got sold out and then when they did their restock it got sold out again but I know that they are doing another restock of the palette and that is on August 22nd I just saw on Jaclyn Hill's Snapchat. So August 22nd is when the next restock of the palette will be so if you want to get it I would suggest making sure that you were on the website a little bit before the time that they say it's going to go live so that you can get your palette. I wanted to get more than one palette just because I wanted to give them out as gifts and such and I also wanted to do a giveaway with one but they had a maximum quantity of one. Every person could only put in one order for the palette so I was only able to pick up one with my order. Now you can use an affiliate code to get 10% off of the palette. I used Jack Attack which is Jacqueline's affiliate code and I will link that in the description box below and I will also link the Morphe Brushes website so that you guys can go straight to their website and use her code if you want to. I know a lot of other YouTubers have affiliate codes as well. I'm not sure who, but I know Jacqueline does for sure and that's why I used her code. I know a lot of people were complaining about the price and there was like a lot of backlash about it being $38. And to be totally honest, I have no idea why people were complaining about the price. You're getting 38 shadows. And I know Morphe has other eyeshadow palettes that are a lot less, but I mean, it's kind of like if you have a t-shirt and you get it from you know somewhere and then they do a brand collab with you know a celebrity and then the price goes up to me it makes perfect sense that the price is $38 I don't see it as being too expensive because there are a lot of other palettes that are way more than $38 and you're not getting 35 eyeshadows when you divide the amount of eyeshadows by the price I mean it's literally over a little over a dollar for each eyeshadow like to me it's a hundred percent worth the price and I think people really need to 
understand the quality that you're getting in this palette before you kind of go, oh, what's up with the price? This isn't just a regular old Morphe palette. This is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab, and so it makes sense that the price would be a little bit higher. Okay, so let's start playing with the palette. Let's dive in now. So the palette comes in this box right here. It's just very similar to the actual palette the box it looks exactly the same to be honest it's just in a box the back has four pictures of Jacqueline and then a little message it's just saying you know basically I love you I love you thank you blah 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 XO Jacqueline once you open up the box my palette came in this little sleeve of bubble wrap which I could appreciate because I think one of the most annoying things would be to get the palette and then one of the eyeshadows be broken and then this is the actual palette in the box so the back of the palette says Morphe times Jaclyn Hill and it has the JH all over it and then the front of the palette says the Jaclyn Hill palette just like the box Morphe and Jaclyn Hill in like foil silver whereas everything else is in this cardboard white and just the regular gray so in terms of the packaging I think this is the type of packaging that is very easy to play with and what I mean by that is something like this Urban Decay electric palette um, I've dropped it many times and as you can see it's broken um, and it's just like a lot more thicker and heavier compared to this palette and it's a lot more chunkier and obviously um, it's made out of plastic whereas this is made out of cardboard I love this type of packaging especially for when I'm traveling because I feel like it is so easy it doesn't take up a lot of space it's very sleek and it's very thin and it's just easy to throw into my suitcase so I love the packaging I but I also don't think that it's anything special like I think that it's not anything that I'm like wowed about but I still don't think to me it's such a big deal like to be totally honest the packaging is the packaging I'm more interested and curious to see what's inside whenever I get makeup products I get so one thing I would say that I don't like about the packaging is I'm not really like keen into finding things wrong with packaging because to me like I said who cares but um, because it's the white and because of the type of material when you start to use the palette it starts to get very messy and I don't know if you guys can tell but I have eyeshadow marks on the front and back of the palette and I just got the palette yesterday so I've literally only used the palette once to do my makeup which I have this look right here was done with the Jaclyn Hill palette and um, I did swatches yesterday for the video with me and my husband helped me as well and I swatched it on both our skin tones so you guys kind of could gauge what the colors look like on two totally different types of skin tones and you can see that the palette's already dirty so I wish that wasn't the case I wish that it would stay clean and then when you wipe it off it does come off so it's not that big of a deal but it's just something to keep in mind actually let me try wiping it off with a makeup remover wipe oh it comes off yep it comes off okay so it's not that big of a deal <laughs> when you open it up there is the colors and then you have just this protective sleeve over the colors you also have this message from Jacqueline and basically it says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers XO Jacqueline now I know some people were upset that there wasn't a mirror up here I saw that a lot on Twitter and um, to me I don't really see what the big deal is only because when I'm at home when I'm doing my makeup I don't do my makeup like this like I have a mirror in front of me and I use that as my mirror I think the only time that it might be annoying to not have a mirror is if you do travel with this palette and you don't have any other mirror or you don't have a close mirror and you want to hold it up and do your makeup that's the only time I think that that will really be an issue and in those cases I understand but I don't think the majority of the time you'll be using this palette you'll be traveling you'll most likely be using it at home so to me it's not a big deal and if it helps keep costs down I'm all for that because to me I'd rather just use a mirror I already have and pay less then pay more and then have an extra mirror because in all honesty when I'm using every other eyeshadow palette I have I never use the mirror one thing that annoys me about the palette is that the names are not printed on the actual palette and I find that so frustrating especially for someone like me who maybe is going to be using the palette to recreate looks online um, it's really annoying because I have to keep this card it, this card came with the palette and basically on the front it's a picture of Jaclyn and one of the eye looks and then it just says you know Morphe times Jaclyn Hill and on the back it has all of the colors with the names and they even have this little chart on 
the Morphe Brushes website. But I don't understand why they wouldn't put the names on the palette. I don't know, like I'm not a makeup person who makes makeup or anything like that, so I don't know if it was a lot more money or I don't know what, if they thought maybe nobody would want them, but that's one of like probably my pet peeves is when I have a palette and the names are not printed on the palette because it's just so annoying and it's hard to communicate with people what looks you're doing. That's one thing I wish if they were to ever do another palette that they would definitely improve and put the names directly on the palette so I don't have to keep this card with me. The palette is a mix of mattes, shimmers, satins, foils, and glitters. When I got this palette, like as I mentioned before, when I saw it in the picture on Morphe brushes, I honestly thought that I would not like the palette. And I opened up this palette when I got it yesterday and I was literally mind blown at the difference of the colors and how they look. I don't think the Morphe brushes picture does it justice at all because when I saw this palette, I was blown away. I love, love, love the colors in this palette. And as soon as I saw it, I knew, I'm like, no, all of, the, all of the colors will look good on me and I have much more selection than I thought I would have had. If you guys have ever seen, Jacqueline did a video a little while ago on her like favorite single eyeshadows and she had like a Z palette video and I'll link it down below. But if you look at this palette and you look at the thumbnail or even the way she holds up the Z palette, it looks exactly the same. Like so so similar and I think that you can really tell that these are her favorite colors because if you look at that video her Z palette of all her favorite single eyeshadows and this palette look almost like they could be identical like very very similar colors very similar shades and very similar layout you know you have the greens the purple the blue I think the colors work so well with every skin tone and that is something to me when you're making a product that really matters I feel a lot of the times especially with the youtubers that I watch the colors might look good on them but they don't look good on me and it's so frustrating when they create a look and I want to be able to recreate that look and I have to like go all around trying to figure out what the hell kind of colors I'm supposed to use to recreate that look. I'm so impressed with the versatility of the colors and how well they work with so many skin tones. Yesterday when I was doing the swatches on my skin and then I swatched them on my husband's skin as well, I said to him, it made me want to do his makeup. It was so nice on his skin tone, but then I looked at the same colors on me and they looked great on me as well. I'm going to show you guys swatches of the rows um, side by side of what my husband and I swatched. The first row you have these two really beautiful shimmer highlight colors and then you go into more neutral colors you also have two really beautiful transition colors these transition colors are a bit light for me but they work really well for someone who's around my husband's skin tone the second row is this really beautiful transition color the first color this orangey yellow color is such a beautiful color to blend out the other colors in this row and even other rows of this palette I love the fiery coppery red and even the shimmer version of that on the same row the next row you have three beautiful metallic colors and then you have three beautiful mattes which I feel like are great transition and even outer corner colors and then another shimmer color and then you get into the more funky colors at the bottom you have this beautiful royal purple with the royal blue and then a lot of shimmers and then also two great outer V colors I use that last color in the row as my transition color because that looks really good on my skin tone the bottom colors you go into your teals and your greens and then a lot of the outer V or eyeliner colors if you wanted to use them I'm obsessed with that emerald green in the lower row. I showed you guys how all the colors look but I wanted to show you some of my favorites on the back of my hand. So this color right here I want to do a tutorial so badly on. It just looks so beautiful. Like how could you not like this color? And then this one right here I'm not a green person but holy, like, are you kidding me? Look at that green, like insane. And the great thing about these shadows, like, look, you can see as I'm putting my finger in them, like, I'm not doing much work. I'm swirling and it swirls so easily. Like, what's another color I could do here? I'll do this color. I swirl so easily and then look at it. It just glides. It's literally like butter. Like, it literally is like soft butter on a piece of bread about to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Like, it is so easy to blend out these colors and that is one thing I'm I swear to you guys this is probably one of the easiest 
eyeshadow palettes I've used in terms of blendability and that's why I think that this is also a great beginner palette because if you are someone who's new to makeup and maybe you don't really know how to blend that well or you're just starting to like know like when to blend or how to blend this is a palette that it's literally going to take you two seconds to do an eyeshadow look because you literally put your brush in like one or two times and then that's it like it'll be blended out it is such an easy palette to work with these eyeshadows are so easy to work with and that was something that I really realized when I was doing my makeup and I was blending them out on my eye I honestly thought to myself I can't believe how easy it is to blend out these shadows and like as you can see they just blend like they just go on your skin what's I'm gonna I want to swatch a little more for you because I'm like obsessed with this palette oh here I'm swatching a few more for you I just put it down but let's see let's do another one this one right here this pink one at the very top on the first row right here this one it is kind of I don't even know how to describe it like wet and I don't know if it's like pressed but I find it to be a bit more foiled glitter like it reminds me a lot of these Huda Beauty eyeshadows right here they're like a pressed foily type of glitter and the way that this one goes on the skin reminds me a lot of the way this one does which is obviously with those kind of ones it's best to use your finger actually with all of these like glitter shimmery ones it's best to use your finger when you're applying it um i use this one today on my eyelid and i found that when i went in with a brush i didn't like the way that it applied so definitely with my finger i just went in back and forth and placed it all over and it worked out perfectly i'm so obsessed with this palette that i honestly want to buy another palette when it goes back in stock on August 22nd. I really do feel like I'm going to be online buying another palette because I feel like I don't want this palette to end. I don't like the fact that it's limited edition. I, I'll, I, I, I'm starting to get like panic attacks like oh my god because such good quality shadows for this price and and these are colors like I'm, I'm being totally honest with you that you'll never fade from like right here you have your fall colors right here you have your summer colors you have winter colors a whole palette that you could take on like a two-month vacation and be able to do looks like multiple multiple looks from this palette one thing I should say is obviously like these colors are colors that we've seen before it's not like it's like oh my god we've never seen a blue like this before or we've never seen a purple like this before or you know anything like that but the blendability and the quality of the shadows are something that you don't see a lot for this price point the blendability of these shadows reminds me of like high quality shadow like ardency in like those shadows are like 20 bucks or something per shadow whereas this is 38 dollars for this whole palette and you know it's gonna look good on everyone like why wouldn't you buy it like you have to buy it like buy it i have really high expectations for this palette because jacqueline is someone who is so knowledgeable when it comes to makeup she has such a high level of understanding of how makeup works of techniques of tips and i think so many people look at her not only on youtube but i just think as this makeup guru like she knows what she's talking about so if jacqueline hill says a product is good or if she says that you know i've created this product and you know this is what it's like a lot of people are curious and a lot of people want to know and experience the product because she's so talented and when someone of her like stature or her standing says something like that a lot of people are very curious and that was definitely me like I had such high expectations for this palette and I didn't know what I was expecting but I knew that I was expecting perfection at some point and I know that's a lot of pressure to put on her but it's just because she's so well versed in like what a product should be like on how an eyeshadow should blend on how a lip gloss should look or on how a highlighter should look and so I feel like it's so important that when she says a product is good that it's good and I honestly don't think that this product is bad I think this is a hundred percent good I think it's a great product and for anyone who maybe is saying that it's not a product I I honestly think they're trying to find something wrong with it because I thought the quality of the shadows were so good I love the way that the palette looks together she never created the color blue but she did a great job of making it into an eyeshadow especially the purple let me show you guys the purple purple is very hard to put together in an eyeshadow look at that like you cannot hate like come on you cannot hate I wanted to like have like a definite favorite color but I honestly don't like literally every time I swatched one color I was like oh this is my favorite and then I would swatch another color and I'm like no, no 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 this is my favorite and I would just keep doing that with the whole palette so I'm I'm very impressed if you guys were on the fence about getting this palette I would say 100% go get the palette it's a great great palette in fact 
I'm most likely, if all goes well and my husband doesn't scream at me for spending too much money on makeup this month, I will be getting another palette because I just, I honestly would love um, to have a backup of this because I feel like this will be a palette that I reach for continuously. Okay, enough of the palette. I'm sure you've seen like a million reviews and then just heard my review. But I wanted to do a little quick Morphe haul at the same time. So I was not needing new brushes. I have like way too many brushes. But the palette was $38 and to get free shipping on the Morphe brushes website, you have to spend $75. And hell no, I ain't paying for shipping, okay guys? So you know... I had to, had to get more product, which I know some of you are gonna be like, well that makes no sense because you just spent extra money. Well girl, I don't care, I'm not paying for shipping. So I spent more money to make sure that I was gonna get free shipping. And I mean, honestly, I hate cleaning my makeup brushes, so any excuse to buy more brushes and not have to wash my brushes, I'm all for it. So let's go over these brushes. They're not too, too many, I would say, so we'll go over this pretty quickly. I got these three eye blending brushes. I got the M441 the M433, which I already have this brush, this was another one, and then I also got the M513. Now, when you're looking at the brushes, you can see that the M433, that's the shortest bristle, and it reminds me a lot of the MAC 217. So this is the MAC 217, which I used today, and this is the M433. So they're so similar, so, so similar. And then the other two ones are just a bit longer, and this one is longer and straight, whereas this one is longer and fluffy in the bristles. If you were ever gonna buy a brush, I would say get this brush right here. This is probably, in my opinion, the only brush you need, honestly, if you're gonna do like smoky eyes and things like that. I find that this brush is the brush that I reach to for the most, and I honestly regret not buying more of this brush and like less of these types of brushes. Like, not that they're not helpful, they're, they are helpful and you do need them in a look, but I just feel like this brush is just the type of brush that you can use continuously. And if you're doing a look where you're blending a lot of different colors, having two or three on hand of this type of brush is not bad because then you can switch them out for each color and then have everything look really nice and blended. And also, this is way cheaper than paying for a MAC 217 brush. So I mean, if they work the same and they look the same, why not get this one? In terms of face brushes, I got four. I got the M510, the M501, I got the E8, and I also, the last brush I got was the M438. Now this one I got for highlighting. I wanted a highlighting brush because currently I'm using this eyeshadow brush from Sigma. This is the tapered E40, and I just love how fluffy the bristles are, and so I made this a highlighting brush for my skin, but I wanted to have one that covered more ground on my face, like just more area, and was a lot more fluffier, and so that's why I got this one here. To me personally, I feel like you can never have have enough fluffy brushes for the face especially like smaller detail ones like this like this one you could use to wipe away powder underneath your eye area you could use this as a highlight as well you could use this for contour you could use this for concealer you could use this like you can make uses for all of these brushes and that's why I love having these types of brushes because you just have a variety of what to play with if you want more surface area one day you use this brush if you want less surface area you use this brush so it's just having a variety to play with your look and see what you want to create with the brushes okay so the last eye brushes I got were I got this one right here the M432 because I wanted a nice definer brush to get product right into my lower lash line or even if I'm doing it on my top lash line. I also picked up another kind of fluffy brush. This is the E22. I love this line from Morphe, the Elite brush, because I just love how the bristles feel. And I love the tightness in the bristles to get right in there and create that kind of eye look. This is great for a transition color or any color you want to blow out. I got the E36 for inner corner and under the brow bone highlight. Another brush was the E17. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to use this brush this much. That's the hard thing about ordering brushes online is like you don't know, but I mean, I'll sure I'll use it, but it won't be the first brush that I reach to. I also picked up the M506, but I feel like I have this brush already and I was like, crap, I shouldn't have got it. Do I have this brush? Anyways, I could have sworn that I had this brush already, but like 
I don't need two of these brushes. Anyways, this is a really good brush for like detail, like getting into that outer V. And then the last brush I got was the E18 and it's like a pencil brush, but a very fluffy version, which I like because my pencil brushes, like this one from Mint Brushes, is very dense. So when I'm like buffing out product on my lower lash line, it's like pulling my skin. And I'm 25 now and I ain't trying to look older than I am. So um, I like brushes that are more fluffier because then they don't put as much pressure on your lower lash line when you're just blending out the product. So this is the end of my review slash haul video. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I'm sure you've watched hundreds, if not thousands of this type of video already because everyone just wanted to get their hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I just wanted to tell anyone who was left, who was like, what does Ruth have to say about it? <laughs> that it is a great palette. I, I honestly don't know of anything negative to say about it. I think that this is a palette that everyone should have. And I think it is a great palette for all different types of people, whether you're an intermediate makeup user, or you're just a beginner, or you're just, you know, getting into it, or you're in the middle somewhere, wherever. Like, just a great palette to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every Mondays and Thursdays and if you have any comments or you want to talk to me I love to talk as you can tell by this video leave them in the comment section down below and I will for sure get back to you scouts honor 100% I will talk to you guys in my next video don't ever forget you are so beautiful bye guys